Hello one and all, this is Luckless Lovelox back with Shardlight. And I was just trying to think of what what I could use on the locker and maybe the card. This should do the trick. Oh, there we go. Okay. Empty. Too bad. Okay, let's try the one with the poster. Aha. Uh -huh. This set of clothes looks okay. promising. Okay, okay, there we go. Awesome. Fancy outfit. Let's I put don't it on. see how I could. Put it to use it over here. Right. I'd better make this quick. Okay, it's like a change room. All right. Oh, that was nice. There we go. I can't remember the last time I took a hot shower. I wonder what this burning thing is all about. That kind of threw me for a loop before. Um, I was just looking at my inventory items, trying to think. You know what? What would what would a standard uh, thing to use to open locks? What would it be? And credit card just made sense, but obviously it's not a credit card, but it's like a credit card. Okay, anyways, we should be we should be able to continue now. Let's go to reception and talk to uh, talk to him again. Hey. Hey, now that's more like it. You blend right in. What can I help you with? Thanks for your help. It's what I'm here for. Okay, so hey, what? Thanks for your help. It's what? So I guess I can go to the appointment now. Well, hi there. I'm Amy. What? Oh, hello. I'm Robert. Was there something in particular you wanted? Not really. I was just saying hello. I see. Well, not to be rude, but I've got a lot on my mind. I'm not really in the mood for small talk. Okay then. Forget I said anything. Uh, not in the mood, uh, so, uh, fuck off. Basically what he's saying. Old Excuse woman. me. I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood to talk right now. I'm sure you understand. Oh, these people aren't very friendly. A recruiting poster for the vaccine lottery. I can't deny it's an effective campaign. I'd hate to be that poor guy on the right. The aristocracy guiding tomorrow's youth. I hate to be either one of these guys. They look rather, um... Pixely. No need to push furniture. I'm not sticking my hand in there. <laughs> Why not, Amy? Guess I just have to wait. This is comfortable, but kind of pointless right now. Agreed. I think I should check in with the reception. Oh, receptionist. Okay. Yeah. Good idea. Yes, may I help you? I'm here to see Dr. Collins. Do you have your appointment card? Uh, yes, it's right here. We can't break Great. into lockers anymore. Hmm, Amy Wellard. I don't seem to have you in the registry. Is this your first visit? Yes. Okay, not a problem. Just fill out this form for me, have a seat, and we'll call you in shortly. Thanks. Uh, form. I don't see how I. I don't see. Uh, how do I use form? A blank medical form and a pen. I don't know what half the stuff they're asking on here even means. I don't. See, I don't. See, I don't. See. Sit down again. I'm just worried they're going to give him the. I don't know what to tell you. The aristocracy doesn't take kindly to that sort of thing. Have you been able to speak with him? No. They took him in for questioning yesterday. Not even family can see him until they decide what they're going to do. I guess the worst case scenario is he ends up in Rockwall for a few years. I can't believe he could be so selfish as to not even consider what this will do to his family. What am I supposed to tell my grandchildren? No, your daddy won't be home for Christmas because he was selling counterfeit lottery tickets to poor people. At least they'll know not to do what he did. Okay, rock wall must be the Ms. prison. Miss Wellard, you can go inside. Dr. Collins will be in to see you momentarily. Oh, and if you need to schedule a follow-up appointment, don't forget to speak to me afterwards. Okay, here we go, guys. Yeah, this... Ooh, creepy. They're mostly medical textbooks. Nothing that interests me. Not interested in medical textbooks? There's something good to use here. I don't think one of these would do me any good. 
I think the doctor would miss this if I took it. Well, wouldn't he miss any of the well, stuff? maybe just one won't hurt. What this is that? This jar looks like it's full of candy. Oh, candy, okay. She's pretty. I wonder who she is. Is she? You won't, you won't mind if we take that, right? The doctor would definitely... <laughs> it says, I love you, Dr. C. And it's signed, I.S. I.S. No, I... There aren't any messes to... Huh, there's two forms of soap. I guess this profession would make anyone a germaphobe. I don't need it. I just had a shower. I guess you can't be too careful. No, I think the dirt under my fingernails adds a certain charm to my appearance. <laughs> sure. The doctor will notice if I take this. I need another way of keeping this information. Keeping this information. There's lots of scribbles and notes on here. Hmm. There's one that says, This week's CS password equals next week's surgery. That's probably uh, important. I'll just copy it down. Um, I guess I can use this. I already copied the note. Oh, okay. All right, good. I wrote down what it said on the do This week's CS password equals ne next week's surgery. I probably shouldn't mess. Okay, I think that's good. I shouldn't touch it. Who knows what's in there? Good afternoon, Miss Wellard. Hello, Dr. Collins. I've been informed that this is your first visit, is that right? Yes, that's right. You look somewhat familiar. Are you sure you haven't been here before? Yes, I'm sure. You must just have one of those faces. In any case, what are you here for today? I have green lung. The symptoms started about a week ago. I see. If you'll just have a seat on the examination table, I'll do a quick checkup and administer your vaccine dose. Nice! There you are. You should notice a decrease in symptoms within the hour. Thank you, Doctor. Oh, Miss Wellard? Yes? I swore an oath to do no harm and heal the sick, so I would never turn away someone seeking oh, vaccine. Oh, he knows. But I'd like to offer you a suggestion. When sneaking around other people's houses, don't stand so close to the windows. I'm sure you're aware of the consequences if you were ever caught. Understood. Well, at least he's a legit doctor. It's like... One of the first, uh, aside from the receptionist, decent people we've met in this area. And uh, Max, as well. He's a nice guy. Um, let's get to another appointment. Yes, may I help you? I was told to schedule a follow-up appointment. Of course. Let me just show you our calendar, and you can pick a date that works best for you. Uh... Don't know. Today's date, it says, House Call, Silas Harrison. Oh, okay, I can see the schedule. It says, House Call, Jerome Bromley, and underneath, Surgery, Derek Cooper, Appendix. Next week's surgery was the password, right? It says staff meeting all day. So what's next week's surgery? It says vaccination, Karen Schmidt. It says surgery, Paul Scott, Medulla Oblongata. Okay, Med Medulla Oblongata. It says vaccination, Anthony Prescott. That's, that must be it. It says surgery, Paul Scott. I note that down? I don't see how I... It says vaccination, Dora Everly. Not a very busy doctor. It says lunch with Nero. Um, okay. How about this date? Perfect. I'll pencil you in. All set. See you soon, Miss Wellard. Okay, let's see if we can get to the storage room. Welcome to Um uh central era i'm sorry you do not have do you require how do i put in the password medulla oblongata there we go uh medulla oblongata password accepted yeah one moment please central storage is located to the left of the administrative thank you for using uh, that that computer voice is grating Okay, here we go. 
I remember seeing a diagram of one of those in a book Nelson had. When the alarm is triggered, the little clapper hits the bell and makes a noise. Maybe this is why we needed the fire. I don't think this shoot will... What do we have over here? A trolley? And... Well, if someone was careless enough to leave this box cutter here... Box we'll just cutter. the old finder's keeper's rule. Okay, what can we do with the box cutter? A standard box cutter. The blade is pretty sharp. I'd best be careful handling this. How to open some boxes? Maybe not. Wrong game. This isn't a box opening simulator. I don't... I look at the terminal. Please select your function. Open storage door, system maintenance, emergency override. Verification code. No idea. The maintenance. No emergency detected in the building system. Okay, this is where... Go ahead, exit. This is where I need to... Uh... There's smoke detector. Okay. That's where we need to set a fire. Um... The cleaner will catch on fire, but there won't be any smoke. I need some... It's something else. The rag will burn, but it might get out of control. I'll need something smaller. Smaller than the rag. Achilles? Maybe the, um... No, we the ticket is for this week's vaccine lot. I want the ticket. But maybe we're done with, um... Maybe the form? This medical form will be more useful in here. Okay, okay, this should do it. I should put this thing down somewhere before trying the... Okay, uh, on the trolley, maybe? I don't maybe? see how... Here? I don't... There we this go. This looks like a good spot. Y you know when, uh, the floor is something you can interact with? You've got to put something there. <laughs> okay, this should do it. Okay, this should work. Oh, crap. What was I thinking? That was a close one. I need to find a way to stop the alarm and the building alert. What? Stop the alarm and the building alert? I don't think this... There's not much I can... I don't think tampering... Interesting. I guess they put this in here as a part of the emergency detection system. As tempting as it is to go trolley surfing, I should focus on the task at hand. Huh. But did that not work? If I set off the smoke detector now, the alarm will go off and the rest of the building will be alerted. Okay. So I have to turn off the building alert. I didn't get help with that. Welcome to the mist. From, um, from our ally here. Hey. What can I help you with? Thanks for your help. It's what I'm here for. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. Um. Welcome to the mystery of medicine. Storage. Okay, maybe I can uh, put something in the mechanism. I don't think that will help. I don't see. I don't think. You did. I don't. I haven't got any. I don't think. Okay. Um. What else could I use? Oh, the cloth. Yeah. Right. Of course. Of course. That'll there. Make, cause like that a buffer. Muffle the alarm if it goes off. Yeah. Muffle. Muffle the alarm. Nice. Okay. Here we go. If I set off the smoke detector now, the rest of there's not much I can. What? Okay. I don't think that will have. Well, now if the alarm goes off, oh, the alert will at least be limited to this room. 
Okay. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we can set off the alarm, right? There goes nothing. That did it. I'll put out the fire before it gets out of control. Okay, now we should be able to use the emergency override. Nice. Wow, oh look at the vaccine! There's enough vaccine stored in here to treat the entire population for oh years. Oh my god. Danton was right. The government has been lying to everyone all along. This isn't right at all. The people need to know the truth. Okay, well, we were wondering uh, how evil the aristocracy is, and now now we've got confirmation. Unbelievable. This could treat... I'll take this back. There's not much. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, shit. Amy Wellard, by order of the aristocracy, you are under arrest for trespassing on private property, breaking and entering, theft, and tampering with official Ministry of Medicine documentation. I'm sure there's been some kind of misunderstanding. Our orders are quite clear. You are hereby ordered to come with us for detention in Rockwall Prison. Don't I at least get some kind of trial first? We're here to escort you to Rockwall, not to answer questions. If you do not cooperate, we have authorization to shoot you on the spot. You are also ordered to return those stolen clothes to their proper location before leaving the Ministry. <sighs> Fine. Let's go. Shit, we fucked up, guys. But we had to know something like that could happen. Wellard, we've got a visitor. Good evening. Tiberius, you can't let them keep me here. I'm very sorry, my dear, but things are a bit complicated. I came to explain your position. Go on, then. I'm listening. Do you remember the day we were bombed, Miss Wellard? I can recall it quite well. I was young, but yes, I was in school. I lost a lot of friends that day. My mother, too. My condolences. You are aware that the reason we were attacked was for control of petroleum and mineral supplies, yes? Sure, but what has that got to do with anything? Rebuilding our society has not been an easy task. We still have much to do. Of utmost importance is maintaining order. Do you understand this? Then why are you telling people supplies of vaccine are limited? You could help everyone and work on finding a permanent cure. Yes, <laughs> you are correct. And if we were to cure the population and allow our society to thrive once more, what do you suppose would happen next? Um, things would be amazing? It would be great. People could live normal lives again, not have to worry about scavenging or dying of the plague. Oh, of course, and when a rival nation caught wind of that prosperity and decided we had something they wanted? Um... We would be attacked, experience the horror of war all over again. I would not wish the bombings we experienced on my worst enemy. I cannot let that happen again. I will not let it happen again. Do you understand me, Miss Wellard? I'm aware that the current system is not perfect. There is a clear class divide, but we are not tyrants. The aristocracy has always striven to care for the citizens who provide aid, despite their circumstances. In any case, I am genuinely sorry that things had to turn out this way. You did perform your job quite well, perhaps too well. I was just doing as you asked. I asked you to infiltrate the rebels and gain their trust. I did warn you that my protection could only go so far. You could easily have come back to me and informed me of Danton's plans to invade the Ministry. She threatened to have me killed if I set foot anywhere near your tower. What was I supposed to do? Informed one of my guards, sent along someone you trusted with the information. Yeah. Though it hardly matters now, I've gotten all the information I need. But how? I mean, I couldn't actually do that. A gold oh. ball on a string? A clever listening device my soothsayer came up with. Uh... It was placed in the handle of your crossbow. I have been tracking you in order to ensure I learn Fuck. the location of Danton's hideout. You've been spying on me this whole time? 
Why didn't you just tell me you were listening in? It was a test of loyalty, and unfortunately, you failed. It's truly a pity. I would have loved to give you your payment. You could have continued spying, opened up a mechanic shop, serving the government. Alas, I, I cannot reward criminal behavior. It would not be looked upon favorably by the public. We would lose the support of citizens like Mr. Harrison. So what, you're just leaving me in here to rot? I'm afraid not. Order must be preserved. We're gonna get killed, aren't I we? myself forced to tie up loose ends. Danton and her rebels will be eliminated. As for you, it really does pain me to have to do this. But the truth is, I have no choice in the matter. You must be executed. Do what? It. Why? I understand this is difficult for you. However, my hands are tied. I simply cannot take the risk of keeping you alive. And what if I promise not to tell anyone about the vaccine horde? I'm afraid you've proven to me already that I can't trust you. In any case, I wish to thank you for your service. I'll make sure your execution is quick and painless. Oh, that's nice Goodbye, of you. Goodbye, Miss Wellard. Again, I am quite sorry. You don't give a shit. Don't pretend like you care. Hmm? Huh. Raven. What do you want? To come in here? You'd best fly away, bird. Uh, okay, what do we have? We gotta get out of here. We've got this listening device. We still have the lottery ticket. I should get rid of this stupid thing. But maybe it can help me. Oh. I'm going to need something long and thin if I want to do that. So we need something long and thin. Drain here. It's already open, and I... I'd rather avoid sitting on that thing if I can help it. You're kidding. Panel. It hasn't got any buttons or anything I can mess with on it. There is an opening at the bottom, though. This panel seems to have something to do with the electrified window. Okay. I am not in the mood to electrify. Oh, it's electrified. It. Okay. Check out the pile. Most of this stuff is just junk. Hmm. What's this? Is that four? Huh. It looks like the previous occupant at least got a dose of vaccine. Empty oh, syringe. Wow. Okay. An empty syringe might be useful in this grate. Could use that to access the, uh... Listening device, right? Poking at the trinket randomly will Okay. I use there we go. Hmm. Let's see if this works. How's that gonna help us though? What's inside? Ah, interesting. This wire could be helpful, and it makes this thing useless to Tiberius. Seems like a win-win situation. Okay, so we pull the wire out. A medium length of wire. If worse comes to worse. I could probably just hang myself with What? It. <laughs> I, I I have a feeling he's honest that we're gonna be executed swiftly, so it's kinda like Why would I wanna hang myself? Hey! Anybody out there? Just to go out on our own terms. What are you yelling about in there? Hmm. Got the perfect life. I'm hungry. Haven't you ever Maybe heard we can get of a something last from meal? Him. Sorry, but we don't have any food for prisoners. Most people in here don't stay long enough to justify having a last meal. Great. Um. I need to go to the bathroom. So use the toilet in your cell. All you have to do is wave your hand over it and it'll open up. That drain, you mean? You know, I've got the perfect life. You do realize we know that's a code phrase, right? <laughs> uh, we were listening in on all your conversations. Well, it was weird. That's true. But yeah, I mean, I'm on death's door here. I might as well try. I'm innocent. I shouldn't be in here. Please. You know how many times a day I hear those exact words? It's at least 200 before lunch. So I'll tell you what I tell everyone else. If you were really innocent, you wouldn't be inside that cell right now. So drop it, would you? There's a weird bird staring at me through the window. 
Yeah, sometimes they sit at the windows. Don't worry, the electrified mesh will keep them out. Okay. Never mind. We want to let him in, I guess. Okay, the wire. Oh, maybe we can go down the drain? This should fit through the opening at the bottom. There. Hope this works. Oh, nice. What are you doing, little guy? How's this? Oh, well, I wasn't nice. That. What a smart bird. No. Right. Time to get out of this hellhole. Okay, she just. You okay. Sent the soldiers to the market district. Yes, Minister Tiberius. They're heading over as we speak. Excellent. And the spy in the Ministry of Medicine. Taken care of. Good. With regards to Miss Wellard's execution, please be sure to tell the firing squad to aim for the head. Don't drag it out. See? Yes, Minister Tiberius. Oh, such unpleasantness. I really take no pleasure in having to do this sort of thing. I just hope it will all be over soon. Good evening to you. See, he's a nice guy. Totally nice. Right 